This is a Jeep Wrangler. It's meant to go off-road. And this is a Volkswagen Super Beetle. And it's not meant to go off-road, but it's time to do the unthinkable, Tommy. It's time for episode three of The Beetle Diaries, the show where we take our 1971 Super Beetle and put it through every test we have here at TFL. Today's episode is Goldmine Hill. Tommy, why are you here, dude? Okay, so I'm here with the Jeep just in case something goes wrong. I don't think it will. I'm also the off-road guy here at TFL, so I'm gonna be taking the wheel. And you know I'm the off-road guy here because I actually brought off-roading shoes and Michael's wearing like bright red Vans. Great for off-roading, Michael. So what makes a vehicle off-road worthy? I have a four-wheel drive system with a low range to magnify this engine's over 285 horsepower and 260 pound-feet of torque. I have a 60 horsepower carbureted engine. I have grippy 35-inch mud terrain tires. I have four Beetle tires. I have enough ground clearance to literally sleep under the Jeep Wrangler. I have literally a foot of ground clearance. See? One foot. In the Jeep, I have solid axles front and rear to keep all four tires on the ground no matter what the terrain. I have suspension. Michael, I think we've determined that Felix, our little super beetle, doesn't have a lot of off-road tech. Right, but that doesn't mean that people haven't taken beetles off-road before. Well, that's true, actually, because beetles have competed in the Baja off-road race for years. Yes, like modified beetles, not anything like Felix over here. Well, Felix still has more grip than your red shoes. So the challenge of Gold My Hill usually starts at the bottom of the trail. But in the Beetle, I think the challenge is actually going to be getting to the trail in the first place. Let's try it out. We're going to take it easy and we're going to try not to burn the clutch. It's just going to be a fun little challenge. Yep. actually have a couple things that may make this better than your typical modern car, right? Yeah, actually the engine is over the rear tires, so you're going to have more grip than you would if it was over the front tires. Yeah, that's really great, and the tires are nice and skinny, and they are brand new. Like, I literally just put them on maybe an hour ago. Today, yeah, they are brand, brand new. Uh, one other thing that's kind of nice too, it's actually a very lightweight vehicle, which for off-roading is a good thing. Yeah, it weighs about 1,900 pounds, so it's hopefully going to scamper over some of this stuff and not get bogged down. Hopefully. Bold prediction time, Tommy. How far do you think it's going to make up the hill? I'm going to say stage one. I think if you if you go for it just enough, you can go through stage two, as long as you stay up to the right. Yeah. Yeah. For two reasons, Tommy, I'm going to hop out of the vehicle once we get to the trail. Number one, I'm not very experienced off-road, so it would be useless for me to drive. Okay. Number two, I weigh quite a bit, and I think we need to keep this Beetle as light as possible going up the trail. Yeah, and the other thing is, too, is we have no underbody protection. So if Zero. we, if we yeah. puncture some oil-related part, we're done. So this is a four-speed manual, right, Mike? Indeed it is, Tommy. Um, and what that means is you can roll through the gears, which is fun on-road, but on Beetles, first gear is geared extraordinarily low, which means that I might actually be able to get up this hill because this engine provides no power. Doing really good. The ride is so soft. Thanks to those McPherson struts in the front, I suspect. Yeah, well, I, I do suspect too. Okay, so I'm out of breath just walking up this hill. The beetle's all the way down there at the bottom. Granted, I'm a nerdy, thin guy, pretty out of shape. 
But if I'm breathing this hard at 8,000 feet, imagine how hard that little 60 horsepower flat four is working with a single barrel carburetor. So essentially what I need to do, stick it in first, get off that clutch, cannonball it all the way up. I'm gonna try to blast through stage two. I'm not even gonna stop because the second I lose momentum, it's gonna be over. I've got no locking differentials or limited slips, so it's all about line placement. We're gonna see. <laughs> have fun, Tommy. Look at our view. This is the view we have. Oh, man. Poor little beetle. I am so sorry. Oh. Okay, first bump tackled easily. Oop, the engine just died. Oh, now I'm on the steep hill and I gotta get going again. Floored. We're still going slowly and floored. It's about three miles an hour. And we stopped again. Still going. Floored. About half a mile an hour. Floored. That was great. Now I can't start her up. It's just these carburetors on these steep inclines. They do not work so well. Nope. It's not doing it. It's time to back off. I'm just grinding the clutch away. That's all she wrote. Okay, Michael, so I tried with a little bit of run up and that speed it was going, that was floored. Like it was not accelerating any faster. I just don't have the gearing, but the traction was really good. The traction wasn't bad. I was honestly impressed that you were able to stop and restart a few times. Yeah. I'm actually impressed it made it two thirds of the way up the first obstacle to begin with. Right. If you maybe had some bigger tires or an actual low range gearbox, you could possibly get up there. Uh, ground clearance is gonna start to get really limited towards the top. But let me show you an issue here. Come walk with this. So I managed to uh, air down the tires a little bit to get some more traction, but I'm worried about puncturing them here on this rock. You know it'd be fun, um, this car's so light, 1900 pounds, I'm gonna have Michael try to push me just a little bit further up this hill, see if he can go any higher. I, I bet we could do it, actually. Do Let's it. try it out, yeah. Okay, ready Michael? In three, two, one, push. Yeah, that's good, keep pushing, keep pushing. Well, we did stage one. Stage one complete. Oh. Hey Matt, we're gonna need your help for a sec. I want you to put the camera down. We're gonna try doing stage two now in the Little Beetle. With two people pushing. Two people pushing. This is what we need. Okay, boys, are we ready? Okay, push on three. One, two, three, push. Whoa. Try it again. Good thing a parking brake works. Okay, on three. One, two, three, push. <laughs> All right, so we've learned two things. Two people pushing the beetle still doesn't have enough. And standing behind the beetle is gonna get you really dirty. Well, Tommy, I'm both dusted and winded. Well, I'll tell you what, Michael. I think we're done with that one. Now, the beetle did stage one with the help of one person. It did about half of stage two with the help of two people. I think we need a lot more people to get it up to stage three. Uh, yeah, we need a lot more people, a lot more tire, a lot more engine, a lot more transmission, and a lot more ground clearance. <laughs> the good news is nothing broke on the Beetle yet. We just got to back her down, and this was a lot of fun. Guys, we proved that this Beetle is durable. It really did hold up to everything we put it through today. Yeah, it did pretty well. I'm surprised, actually, that it made it this far 
albeit we did give it some help. In the end, we didn't actually need the Jeep, did we? No, we actually did not need the Jeep at all, but it's a good thing we brought it. It's a good thing we brought it. The Super Beetle is in one piece, actually is a super tough little car. They built these things well. Well guys, that does it for episode three of The Beetle Diaries. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Be sure to come back to tflcar.com for more news views and real world Super Beetle reviews just like this one. Little Herbie running well here, Michael. Herbie? Sorry, Felix. Felix, Tommy, come on. This doesn't have any racing stripes. It could though. Hey, should we give it Herbie stripes? We should give it Herbie stripes. But maybe we'll make them not Herbie stripes so we don't get like copyright infringement or something <laughs> like that. <laughs>